Controlling a gradient based off of light incidence is a very powerful feature, and I thought we could take a look at setting it up in both the layer system and the node editor. So I'm going to go over to the surface editor, and let's start with the layer system. So I'm going to go over to the texture editor, and I'm going to change the layer type to gradient, input parameter, light incidence, and we're going to pick uh, the only light in the scene. Okay, and I'm just going to drop a couple um, different colors on here. I'm going to start with uh, kind of a dark brown, and then let's go with a, another color, and I'm going to set the key to stepped, and I'm going to lighten that, and that set to step as well. Okay, so we're going to do kind of a, a cell shade thing, similar to the cell shade video, but this is showing in the layer system how to set up incident angle, uh, the light incidence um, for the input parameter. Okay, so let's use that, and there we go. So you can see the different steps, and if I were to grab the light and rotate it, we're changing the surfacing based on light incidence. Okay, we can do the same thing with, here I'm going to rotate that back, we can do the same thing in the layer system. Now we could go the route that uh, we went in the um, cell shade video uh, in the node editor, uh, but I'm going to show a, a, a quicker setup that I picked up from Dodgy on the NewTek forums, and uh, let's go ahead and grab a gradient. I'm going to plug that into color and set up a, a similar uh, setup like we had. So I'm just going to go with a, kind of a dark brown. Okay, go to the next key and I'll lighten that up some. And go with the next key and I'll lighten that up some. Okay, and let's go ahead and set these to step as well. Okay something like this. Okay, and if we notice in the input there is no, there's incidence, but there's no light incidence. But what we can do is come over to add node and choose diffuse Lambert. And we can plug the Lambert shader into the input parameter. You can already see it on our little preview here, but let's go ahead and do a render. And as you can tell, we're getting the same setup. It's based off of uh, light incidence, and we got we have um, we have our different uh, colors here. So, just another way. If you want to see another way of setting up um, light incidence uh, for a gradient in the node editor, you can check out the cell shade video. But actually, this one's much faster, and uh, and will support. Um, all the lights in the scene, whereas with the uh, the setup I have in the the cell shade video, you would have to you could support all the lights in the scene, but you'd have to set it up because I set it up for for one light, which is usually what I like to do whenever I'm um, doing any kind of 2D cell shade look. Uh, but uh, this is just a, a really quick setup using this uh, Lambert shader. So um, just a quick look at using light incidence to control a gradient in both the layer system and the node editor.